Hello, today I'll tell you how to use Nokia PC Suite or Actually, Nokia PC Suite only works for Nokia phones. Although it's an old phone, it's a smartphone, every phone, but only Nokia. So, if the phone have Bluetooth, infrared, or you have its data cable, it can only be connected with Nokia PC Suite or your PC or laptop by data cable, Bluetooth, or infrared. Okay. Now, I have already installed Nokia PC Suite all. Look, I have made a shortcut. I have also attached it with the taskbar. Okay. Now, I open my PC Suite. It will be a window like this. In every window, in Windows XP, in Windows 7, in every video, every window, every window will uh, display a window of Nokia PC Suite like this. Now, click here to connect a phone you will click over here and it, sh it will sh show you this window okay now the next arrow if you if you want that uh, it do not show this screen anymore you can click this do not show the screen next time okay the next arrow okay i want a bluetooth connection okay and and the next if you will press the next arrow it will start searching for the devices look devices detected uh, I have Nokia 603 that's why I'll connect it and the next arrow again and look the tick look it's connected it will take some time uh, to connect because it's a Bluetooth connection not a uh, data cable connection so okay now it have all your personal data look this is the phone this is its battery life at the right and on the left it's the signal strength okay now this is the your PC suite window the first thing if you want to change the name you can by by renaming or doing something like uh, by renaming it by rename phone you can write anything but I have to keep in this this is the backup if you want to store your phone's data all the data each and every data in the your PC you can install it in seconds okay now open it look it'll show you the uh, picture of the phone and look you can store the backup or restore the phone note that data transfer via bluetooth or infrared is substantially substantially slower than via USB cable if you have a USB cable connected now we don't need it actually yes I'm sure okay this is synchronize if you want to sync your phone with your PC it'll sync it and I have synced it on Saturday December 1 2012 11 27 a.m. Look if you want to uh, synchronize it, just click this. Okay, I don't want to. And this is connect to the internet. And look, uh, it will show some because it will show to you phone and to the internet. I don't want it actually, I don't want web service. This is your contact list, you can open it and SM, uh, show your show your contacts watch your contacts call them from your PC you can call them from your PC now this is messaging I'll open it Nokia communication center a new message a new message and you want to send message you can send by adding a number like 0 1 0 4 4 8 8 9 7 8 Look, now you'll write a message that 
and I will be mid. And if you want to send it, send it by clicking this. It will send it automatically. And if you create, if you want to create a MMS, you can create an MMS by clicking this. And if you want to save this SMS, you can save it by you clicking this button. Okay, now cancel it. Uh, and I don't want to SMS someone. And this is your calendar. You can see your calendar. Calendar. Uh, these are these two dates are marked. That's why it's showing blue beneath them. This is your calendar. Okay, communication center. And this whole is your calendar. You can you can save any data, any date, or fix something note something in your calendar by this okay now we'll move to file story this is the most important part now look it'll, sh it'll show you three memories of your phone how many memories uh, as many as much as much memories your phone have it will show now my phone has three memories mass memory memory card memory and phone memory now phone memory I look if I want something to install in the phone from my PC I uh, look I want to uh, copy this to my phone I'll copy and then open and then file storage and then mm, I have I want to choose memory card and I'll if if any folders you can uh, paste in any fo any of the folder now I'll click it and paste it now it's pasted. Look, it's pasted over here. We have seen this. Only copy paste. Only we need copy paste. Okay. Now this is store images. Now it will load. It will take some time. Look, it uh, it found 83 new images in form. Now and take it. Take the button and it'll mm, it'll store all the images in your PC oh, I don't want it and this is transfer videos and now it will take some time to open and now it's open no. In that folder, you want to save in that folder on your phone, you can save it. I don't want to save it. Okay, this is, this is to install application in your phone. Now it will take some time to open. Look, if uh, I, if on the start it will show you my computer and your phone now I want to install in it's the data is in my data is in and it will only D and my and I in have to in sorry I have to install themes and it will only install SIS files these are the three SIS files I'll click it and it will it will take some time to load. Okay, finish the installation on the phone user interface or click cancel to cancel the installation. Yeah, I have uh, I have clicked the cross because I don't want to install some applications in my phone okay now i have to close this i don't i don't now this this is ov music this take this take help it uh, from internet this is linked to internet and it will download a ov player uh, to your computer it will show you some uh, it will download uh, a file to your computer 
and then I don't want to download my file here yes, I exit it and then this is the update phone software if you want to update a software in your phone you can update it by clicking this and this is download maps so it will obviously link to internet I don't want to download so we have talked much about PC suite Nokia PC suite all and don't don't be confused that it will show this window only in windows 7 it can sh it is sh it shows this same window of nokia pc suite in windows xp and windows 7 windows 2003 any windows you want soon i release the video of windows 8 but how to use pc suite in windows 8 okay now i'll tell you some uh, you can say advantages if you uh, look if you have two phones most of the people have two phones they don't like the phone with do uh, the phone which have dual sim so most of the people have two phones so if you want uh, some data to be installed in the, in the another phone it can it is installed by bluetooth but it only it always installed in the phone memory it is always installed in the phone memory and phone memory is not enough for the data. Actually, I don't feel it enough for the data. Unless it is 1 GB. But we have to store much data. We Actually, I store much data. So, if you have Nokia PC suite and you are carrying your laptop and, and you or you have a PC, you can easily, easily install many things in your memory card this is the first advantage and there are other many advantages of nokia pc suite all so i'll not take uh, much time of you and it's a time to say bye and okay uh, bye take care